Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Massica makes history as the first artist to chart 17 songs in the top 20 on Apple Music Jamaica chart, a record previously held by Valiant, who charted five songs in the top 10 a year ago. Generation of Kings, Massica's major label debut album, is now charting number one in 13 countries across the Caribbean on Apple Music, including Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados. Belize, Cayman Islands, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Lucia, to name a few. Massacre album definitely a going with things. It is clear. Say, yo, the listeners love it. What's your favorite track so far? And if you haven't listened to the album, what are you waiting for? On Friday, December 1st, Dancehall Luminary Massacre unveiled his latest musical endeavor, Generation of Kings. Too much fanfare garnering widespread acclaim from the dancehall community across the diaspora, with several noted names making public declarations about his sophomore effort. Comparisons have surfaced between the new effort and his acclaimed debut album 438. The verdict on whether Generation of Kings surpasses or equals the success of 438 remains uncertain, awaiting the test of time. As daily reviews continue to emerge online, fellow dancehall artist Cargo recently lauded Massacre, boldly asserting that the genocide DJ is the reigning monarch of the contemporary dancehall era, despite acknowledging the prowess of artists like Popcorn, Alkaline, and Chronic Law, Cargo unequivocally crowned Massacre as the current king of dancehall. A Massacre king for dancehall right now. Prompted by a female acquaintance, Cargo listened to the album and was moved by its emotional resonance with his personal experiences. He confessed to being brought to tears during the listening session, expressing profound appreciation for Massacre's musical artistry. However, Cargo criticized Massacre's album title, Generation of Kings, suggesting a more assertive and fitting title would have been King for This Generation. Cargo urged Massacre to embrace the bold claim, asserting, Dog, just be brave and courageous, youth. You are the king for this generation. A one problem we find with Massacre album, I know Generation of Kings, the album should have named. I know why dog I try to say. But maybe if Fred didn't get beaten from Jamaicans, he should have said king for this generation. What fault Massacre album have? And he should have just brave enough and said king for this generation, dog. What me say? It should have named king for this generation. Despite Massacre's undeniable impact on the dancehall scene, debates surrounding his status persist. In a noteworthy Instagram post in May 2023, Massacre added fuel to the ongoing discourse by sharing an image of a king's crown, further fueling speculation about his self-perceived role in the contemporary dancehall landscape. When Prism posted a snippet of that article on their Instagram page, somebody made a comment. It reads, How so much people are carry belly for the man album? Cargo, you can't drop an album, bad so. Kiss me teeth. Massacre responded to that comment by saying, Cargo say is the best album him listen. Should have called it king of this generation. Cargo, a good youth. Well, Massive, as you can see, that person who left the comment was saying something negative about Cargo, possibly because he didn't read the entire article like I just did. Massacre, however, corrected that person and let him know, say, yo, what Cargo was saying was actually something good and that Cargo is a good youth. Well, Massive, what are your thoughts? Do you think that Massacre is the current king of this generation or want to have some other suggestions? Suggestions. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. She rolled me a thing and said, Yo, G, go, you need that. She said, You gotta take it. She showed me a picture of an old couple, say, How we die. She said, I love King. Well, here I go, here I go.
go again. Massive. I can confidently say that I haven't heard a song like this in quite some time. The sound is definitely not what we're accustomed to hearing these days. The artist is called G. Cole with his song, She Said. When you listen to this song, his style and flavor will come as a surprise to many, but it's a good surprise. G. Cole demonstrates that an artist doesn't have to box him or herself in. Experimenting with different sounds can fuel your creativity. It's a love song with clean lyrics and his soothing voice adds to the tone of the song. The way how he mixes the Spanish vibes with the Jamaican vibes should be explored more in my opinion. Click the link below to listen to She Said. Leave a comment to let him know how you feel about the song. Visit him on Instagram at MyGCole. Make him know se a mota masiseño. Massive, I'm sure many of you have heard this song before since Sensational. How you feeling? Sensational. By Chris Brown, Davido, and Loge. Well, guess who is one of the writers on that track? Our very own Sean Kingston. Check out this clip. <laughs> So he captioned his IG post, one of the biggest songs on my bro at Chris Brown new album, 1111 out now, sensational, hashtag big blessings. When I posted the news on my Instagram page, Sean Kingston commented, much love my people, Jamaica flag and hearts. As a fellow Jamaican, Sean Kingston, me feel so proud. I'm alone feel so. Let me know in the comment section below. 450 is currently the only Jamaican artist occupying a space on Apple Music Top 25 charts in New York. Yesterday, he was at number 15 with his song Wild and Rich. I not tell a lie, that song that the power repeats in my own, yes. I really like that song, Massive. Are you guys feeling wild and rich? Will it be on your playlist this Christmas? Let me know in the comment section below. Following the commemoration of Sting Media launch, founder of the greatest one-night reggae and dancehall show on earth, Isaiah Ling, said he is ready to pass on the baton to his son after 40 years of hard work and sacrifices to host this historical event. He said, and I quote, I'm going to leave the legacy because this year might be the last year that I will be at the helm. I'm bringing in the youth, his son, the young one, and I have a next partner who has a young son. So I'd let them both go ahead with it. I've done enough work for the country and the industry, and I will be around to guide them because this is a legacy that is to be treasured. I've been doing Sting since I was 26 and Sting is 40 now. So I think I've been there long enough now. It's time for a shift because it's the younger people time now. And my thinking is not all that young and fresh. So I don't want to lead. I need young people to come to the fore and lead based on where the marketplace is now. Maybe it's the last time you'll see an assembly of these caliber artists all on one stage. This is it. All of the top guns, them may I draw for them. Ling said the decision is not finalized. Therefore, his son is not ready to comment. However, he said he was elated about the takeover. In recalling one of his most memorable statements, moments, Lang pointed to the 1991 clash between dancehall veterans Ninja Man and Super Cat. He said, and I quote, I got shot and I recovered enough to go to Sting that year and sat all the way at the back of the stage looking down on the crowd. And when Ninja Man said, reverse the hearse and make me put it in the dead, it was like he was looking at a rough sea. Everyone was in unison, every hand going up and the crowd jumping in unison, trampling the ground. I will never forget that, he recalled. However, the 2003 stampede that occurred when Ninja Man and Vibes Cartel had a fracas on stage was his biggest regret. After retiring, Ling said he would love for future generations to learn of his impact on this event as a person who is always bringing the people from across the world together to enjoy nice clashes as this marks an important feature for the event being annually hosted on Boxing Day. Well, you know, we all have to do what we have to do. Let's hope that his son will follow in his footsteps, do greatness, or even do greater things. Why not? Anyways, Massive, what's 
your favorite sting moment? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mauta Massey. Mauta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.